Hi guys, welcome to another edition of the heaters or home heating systems for the winter. Uh, I want to do a complete review of all the stuff that we've actually been through and actually show you this new heater which I actually love. It's the best heater of all of them. Uh, surprisingly, uh, we're back to basics with the plant pot heater. Now the plant pot heater is really a very simple build. Anyone who has ever fitted this I'm going to show you the temperatures that we're getting off this before I start here. I've got this glove on because this actually does get very, very hot. All these heaters, the little tile heater that we talked about, the wall heater here, and the plant pot heater have been on at the same amount of time. So I'm going to give you some readings to show you this is uh, running 102 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a 20 watt. Uh, running off a 20 watt, uh, 12 volt, 20 watt feed. Uh, the one on the wall here is running at 124. Now remember that's a 600 watt heater. And the little plant pot heater here that is an 80 watt is actually running at 222 degrees Fahrenheit, as you can see here, and that's substantially more than I, of any of these. Now, I think it's a terracotta that's actually doing that, which uh, leads me to believe that I might run with terracotta tiles on this one, and I'm obviously going to emit a lot more heat. There's a couple of additions that I put on this thing. Uh, one is another pot on the top. That just helps to build more radiant heat. You can build as many pots as you want, of course, to take the heat. This is emitting quite a substantial amount of heat. Uh, the other thing I built was this little fan. Now, the fan is a 12-volt fan. Uh, it's really, I'll just disconnect it there. This is a fan that I got off an old computer, and I built a box, a very simple box, drilled a hole in the bottom, and then what I do is I drop it on the top, connect it up to my 12 volt feed here that I've got on, my, on the wall, and that actually forces that warm air out into the room. The other addition that I want to do on this is to run a water pipe, uh, aluminium water pipe around this, and then feed that heat off into the rest of the room. We can look at that in future videos. So, the build on this is really very simple. I'm going to go through that with you now because it's so impressive. I've got a very big plant pot. So this is a, a large plant pot and the size of this is really important because obviously the bigger the pot, the more heat you're going to emit. Um, the heater itself is really the simplest build you can imagine. If you've ever put one of these lights in your bathroom or anywhere in your home, you will be able to build this thing in no time whatsoever. All I did was I took, and I'm going to go through the building, the, the, I took a bit of scrap wood. This is base is scrap wood, this is scrap wood, and I'll switch those off to show you. There are four feeds here because what I'm able to do is switch two on to make it a 40 watt uh, heater or all four which is making it an 80 watt heater. They're 20 watt bulbs, halogen type bulbs. And we're running off a 110 um, volt system here. Now I can use my little 300 watt um, heater or plug in here for my van which is really meaning that I'm only pulling 80 watts. My tube heater that I'm currently running in the van is actually a 120 watt uh, heater and believe me it doesn't get anywhere near the amount of heat that I'm getting off this. So there are two leads here, one running to uh, bulb number one which then feeds to bulb number two, the second lead to bulb number three and then bulb number four and that's the build, that's it. A uh, bit of space at the bottom there, a little couple of spacers to uh, give me room for my leads and a double switch. And the double switch just allowed me to switch on and switch off. And that's the build. Uh, really very, very simple. Uh, anyone who has fitted one of these little fittings, as I say, could, could do this uh, in no time at all. 
So that is what I call my star product. The plant pot or flower pot, Heathrow as it's known, is the best of all, ironically, uh, after all of the ones that we've done. So guys, it's winter months now, and one of the things I'd like to finish on is talking about, you know, the, the people who are less fortunate than ourselves. You know, we have a lot of people out there who are literally freezing to death. You know, old people don't just lie down and die of hypothermia, they actually just decide to switch the heat enough because they can't afford it, they're frightened of their bills, um, and they fall asleep and, and they never wake up again. Uh, people, other people who, younger people who may be living in their van or an RV, uh, decide to get one of these gas heaters and they pump out dangerous gases into the air and these gases of course accumulate and they may not actually have enough money for a detector and they die, they die in their sleep the same way. So, if you want to prevent this, it's very simple, you know, you can go out and share some of these ideas with other people, but not just the ideas, uh, you know, you might want to build one of these for somebody in need, or a blanket, take them a blanket, or a sleeping bag, an older person with a blanket around their shoulders, the body is a very good heater if you can conserve that heat. So get out there and help them. You know, recently we're knocking this house down and we pulled a lot of old wood that we were going to take to the tip. And there's a local family who um, are in need because they, they obviously uh, don't have the means to be able to pay the huge electric bills and they have a wood heater. So we took a truckload of wood to them uh, so that they could burn during the winter. And, uh, you know, they were just coming back from the woods when we arrived and they had a, a wheelbarrow full of sticks that they picked up to keep themselves warm during the winter and they saw this truckload of wood and they were extremely happy that they didn't have to worry about going out in the cold to actually pick up sticks from the woods. So please get out and help uh, and support your neighbors. Be aware that people do die during the winter. So thanks for watching guys. I look forward to talking to you in future videos. Remember, hit the subscribe button and we'll have lots more for you in the future. Thanks a lot for watching.